Hello and good morning. Joe Justice here coming to you live on September 15th, 2023. Can you believe it? We're already halfway through the month of September. That fall chill is in the air. You can feel it when you wake up. But let me tell you a little secret about me. It's my favorite time of the year. I love the fall. I love getting ready for October when the leaves start to change and that cool little air starts to starts to come in, that crisp morning air. I love it. I love the, you know, the whole Halloween thing, the pumpkins. Harvest, everything, all of it. Just love it. It's my favorite time of year. I wanted to hop on here real quick, talk to you guys a little bit on Friday. This is, of course, Feel Good Friday, and everything I talk about on Friday is all about feeling good, feeling motivated, achieving your goals, accomplishing what you want to accomplish. And I've been talking this week a little bit about different things that you can focus on and different types of exercise things do not have to be one size fits all and I want to make sure to make that abundantly clear that there are tons of opportunities for you to exercise don't like doing solid state cardio that's okay if you don't like doing uh, weightlifting that's okay you know if you don't like doing um, high intensity interval training that's okay find something that works for you there's something your body is made to move I guarantee it, you will feel better and you will feel more energized. The more you get out there, the more activity you have, the more you work your body, your body will appreciate it. And I can promise you that in the long run, you're gonna feel better, you're gonna feel healthier, you're going to feel stronger. And if you need a little information, motivation, or inspiration to help you move forward in your health and fitness journey, feel free to contact me anytime. Drop me a comment, drop me a message, or go to homegymhustleheroes.com slash join and join the group there. Would love to have you a part of that and really enjoy talking to you about all these topics. Today, I want to talk to you real quick about uh, something that I experienced yesterday. I thought it might be a really good point to bring up, and that's what's nagging you. What is it in your life that's nagging you? Is there something that's nagging you? Uh, you know, there's this kind of interesting dynamic. I'll tell you about what happened with me last night. Uh, we had some business after hours events, and I was meeting with some friends and doing some some other things. And uh, of course, the business after hours is an event held by uh, the Charleston Area Alliance, which is kind of a, a community, a uh, econ- economic development. Uh, 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 in, um, not it's not a company. It's a um, oh, what do you call it? Uh, it's an organization, like an organization here, economic development, kind of like a chamber of commerce type type of thing here in Charleston. And they have the business after hours, which I love going to, love meeting people, love talking to people. And uh, But uh, about 4 o'clock, 4.30 or so, it was uh, coming up, and I was with a friend of mine, and I was thinking, man, <sighs> I think I'm just going to call it a night. I'm tired. I don't feel like I've been working all day, and I don't feel like spending the evening you know, uh, at a business after hours event. And have you ever had, so have, so th- this is the thing that I'm wanting to talk to you about. Do you ever have that nagging thing? And it's kind of weird because there's kind of like this religious, this gets into a little bit of an odd religious kind of a thing where you hear, you know, people talking about like that, that small voice, that still voice, that, that voice that nags you, the voice that, you know, tells you not to do it, the, the voice that tells you, that kind of talks you out of doing what you know you're supposed to be doing. Um, you know, and there's kind of different versions of this, but you kind of, you, you get it all the time where you know that there's something you're supposed to do and you kind of talk yourself out of it, or it almost feels like somebody else talks you out of it. You know what I mean? And it's one of those interesting things one of those interesting phenomenons that if you push through that and you say, no, I know I've got to do this. I know I've got to make this happen then it always benefits you in the end. Now, what is that? What is that? Well, there's this kind of psychological idea. The, um, you know, the, the uh, psychologists had this kind of idea, uh, the unions primarily had this kind of idea that the thing that you need the most is where you least like to look. So if there's something that you know you need to do, for some reason, your, your body doesn't want to do that. And you can kind of see that develop archetypally where there's always treasures always in hell right treasures always guarded by a dragon treasure is always you know being 
protected by the villain, you know, the, the monster guards the, the dragon. But, you know, you have to go forward and you have to fight the dragon. You have to, in the, you know, classic hero's journey kind of psychology, you have to go into the underworld and face the demons to retrieve the gold, right? So there's this idea, I mean, and it's predominant. And you also hear, you know, kind of these ideas that, you know, um, if you're supposed to be doing something, you know, you get uh, tempted by the devil or you get, um, you know, there's voices that kind of talk you out of it. So that's what I want to talk to. That's what I want to just bring to the forefront, because this is all psychological, motivational stuff that's beneath the surface that you probably don't, aren't even aware of. But if you've got something that's nagging you, if you've got is there a conversation that you need to have with a loved one that you just don't want to, but it nags at you? Is there a, do you need to talk to your, a coworker, or a boss, or a, uh, a friend, and, but it nags at you and it says, and you know you need to do it, and it nags at you, but then there's an, that other voice that says, no, 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 don't do it. Ah, it's just easier not to do it. Oh, it's easier to put it off. Oh, it's easier. Is there, do you need to make a plan for, uh, you know, when it comes to health and fitness, do you need to make a plan for uh, what, what you're going to do this week? Do you need to do that this week? Is, is that something that you're putting off? Like, because once you make that plan, now you're being held accountable. Now you've got something that you have to accomplish because you made the plan and you made the commitment. So instead, you just put that off. So is there something that's nagging you? Is there something that's in the back of your head? Is there, is there an elephant in the room that you're not wanting to address? Is there a girl that you want to ask out or a guy that you want to ask out, but you're afraid to, but it nags at you that, that you want to? If you're in that situation, I want to encourage you today on Feel Good Friday, I want to give you permission to go after and chase after those things that are nagging you. If there's some place you want to go, if there's someone you want to talk to, if there's something you want to do, if there's something that you need to accomplish and it nags at you, and you, you get those competing voices in your head, you know that you need to do it, but the other voice says, no, you're not good enough, you're going to make a fool out of yourself, it's not going to end up well. You're going to get into a fight. Uh, you know, it's not going it, to, it's going to be a disaster. Don't even go. But it nags at you that you know you need to do that thing. I want to encourage you to do the thing this week. This week, make it a plan. Whatever that is, whatever it is that's nagging at you, don't let it nag anymore. You will, if you face the dragon, if you go into the underworld, you face the dragon, you will receive the treasure. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that you won't get out unscathed. The dragon might burn you, but it's better to face the dragon, defeat the dragon, and gain the treasure than to never face the dragon at all. So I want to thank you so much for listening. I hope you have a wonderful week, uh, weekend, and I will see you all next week. If you need any help, be sure to drop me a comment, ask me a question, send me a message, however you like to get in touch with me. Have a wonderful, wonderful week, and until next time, bye for now.